फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस थर्मल स्ट्रेसेस अबाउट थर्मल थर्मल स्ट्रेसेस लिटिल लिटिल कंफ्यूजन लिटिल टाइट लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड यू कैन से बट आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इन द सिंपल स्टेप्स सिंपल वे एंड हाउ टू राइट द हाउ टू गेट द फॉर्मूला सो फर्स्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड थर्मल स्ट्रेसेस थर्मल मीन्स ऑलरेडी यू नो हीट सो हीट स्ट्रेसेस विल डेवलप ड्यू टू द हीट दैट मीन्स वॉट इज स्ट्रेस विल डेवलप ड्यू टू द हीट स्ट्रेस ऑलरेडी यू नो इंटरनल चेंज इंटरनल फोर्स फॉर इन इट एरिया दैट मीन्स वॉट इज सपोज यू आर बिफोर ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस सपोज यून बाहर विल बी दर इफ यू आर अप्लाइंग द लोड स्ट्रेस विल डेवलप स्ट्रेस विल डेवलप वेयर इन साइड द बॉडी सो हाउ वेयर विल बी द स्ट्रेस डेवलप इंटरनल एरिया इफ यूल कट दिस सेक्शंस सो दिस ऑलरेडी वी प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस दिस थिंग्स सो इंटरनल फोर्स विल बी जनरल इंटरनल फोर्स विल बी डेवलप इन साइड द एटम्स पार्टिकल्स वाट विल हैपन वंस यू आर अप्लाइंग द फोर्स ऑल द स्मॉल स्मॉल पार्टिकल दे वॉन्ट टू गो दिस साइड दे वॉन्ट टू गो दिस साइड सो दैट मीन्स वाट विल हैपन इंटरनल फोर्स विल जनरेट इन साइड द बॉडी सो दीज आर द इफ यूल कट दीज आर यू कैन सी लाइक दिस लॉट ऑफ फोर्स विल जनरेट दिस फोर्स इज नॉन इज इंटरनल फोर्स सो इंटरनल फोर्स विल डेवलप ड्यू टू द अप्लाइड द लोड एक्सटर्नल लोड नाउ हियर स्ट्रेस विल डेवलप ड्यू टू द हीट इफ यूल हीट द बॉडी डिफरेंटली एक्सपेंसन और कंट्रेक्शन विल कम अकॉर्डिंग टू द कंडीशन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेंस टू डे इन सिंपल मैथड सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट एंड हाउ टू गेट द फॉर्मूला सपोज वन बार आई टेक एन सपोज यू टेक वन बार नाउ वील हीट दिस हीट दिस सपोज दिस beginning this temperature will be 40 degree celsius this bar temperature is 40 degree celsius now this temperature will increase up to 70 degree celsius will increase this temperature up to 70 degree celsius what will happen elongations will take place they will it will be increase length will increase so what is this one this is the elongations delta l this suppose this is length is suppose this is length is l then how much changes will be there delta l changes will be there so what will happen here if temperature if temperature rises what is happening elongations will be there temperature rises now what will be there elongations will be there in the body elongations will be there in the body or body will expand you can say also elongation of body or body will expand due to the change in temperature if same block now temperature will be 70 degree celsius to 40 degree celsius coming reverse now now this temperature is 40 after heating temperature coming 70 that means temperature increase so body will expand or elongations will be there here now this body 70 degree is there now okay you extend up to this 70 degree body temperature is there now it will become now it will become 70 to 40 degree so what will happen again it will regain its original positions again it will regain its original positions so what will happen here suppose temperature decreases what will your body will contract body will contract contract or compressions will be there so remember if increase the temperature expand body will expand if temperature 40 to 70 it will come temp it will body will contract so now what is seeing here body is expansion is free expansion will be there here free expansion due to the free expansion stress will not develop free expansion the stress will not develop simple examples will see suppose some work you are thinking you have to do or suppose you are writing the open book test open book test writing now you are not feeling any stress that means you you are feeling very easy okay we have to see and write but if your cat one or model or university exam you writing na what will happen stress will develop 
so that means you are not feeling free so if free expansions will be there stress will not be here stress will not develop so no stress stress is developed developed if free expansions will be there no stress will develop stress will not be there suppose you are doing some pressure work suppose you are thinking okay we have to do that work and you are not able to do that means what is happening inside the stress is developed but some work suppose you want to go the enjoy the life or you want to go the see the movies and all so what will see stress free you will go and see so that meaning is why i am giving this like example this free expansion because no obstruction is there no stopping is there no both side will be free only we are not fixing either this end or at this end so expansion will be freely if it will increase temperature 100 degree it will expand more if it will decrease temperature it will contract more so that means free expansion will be there so in this body stress will not develop now what will what will happen now we'll see the another example i taken this body i taken this body and will stop this both side construction or expansion will not be there because both side will fixed and now will hit the temperature same you take like 40 degree celsius to 70 degree celsius what will happen once you taking take 40 to 70 this body again wants to expand wants to expand some area but what will happen because this if this part we fixed so body they will not allow to expand so body will come contraction so in this case what will happen temperature increase but what is happening here contract body will contract so this will come you say here compressions will be there compressive stresses will develop presses stress will develop now see why i am talking here stresses will develop here i wrote only ex- contractions or expand only but here stresses developed why because here here there is stopping here they are not not giving chance to go the beyond this not go to beyond this suppose some child will be there they they wants to do some other work some work but parents they will not allow parents they will not allow now what will happen they will feel the stress so stress will develop when when someone is stopping to do some other work some work suppose someone is stopping you then that case stress will develop either compressive stress or tensile stress so here what will happen compressive stress will develop now similar similar things will be there if temperature both end is fixed eh? both end is fixed to same and temperature is 70 degree celsius to 40 degree celsius 40 degree celsius what will happen here 70 degree celsius to now it will come ha uh, here for increasing here decreasing the temperature so once temperatures will decrease what will happen here temperature will decrease na they wants to come inside here see temperature increasing na they wants to go beyond this beyond this but due to the fixed due to the stop of the elongations what is happening it wants to go inside so compressive pores but here 70 to 40 contract will be contract will be there but body wants to come inside but they will drag this side due to the stop due to the fixed body will go tensile so in this case what will happen temperature decreases but what will happen tensile stresses stresses will develop so this is the example this is the idea this way you have to understand what is happening here now how to write the formula you see here because now you are seeing here no change in length see here change in length depends on temperature difference change in length depends upon the temperature difference suppose t2 minus t1 what is this one delta t temperature difference see here t2 minus t1 no higher temperature minus temperature so temperature difference so this proportional to temperature difference 
and length. So that means what you are seeing here, carefully you listen sir, how the formula is coming here. Change in length depends upon the change in length, change in temperature and length. Now, if you remove the proportional, delta will be there, proportional remove now, one in, one other column, alpha, alpha, delta t you can write here, alpha delta t into L. What is alpha, alpha here? Alpha is the x temperature expansion. So alpha will be the coefficient of linear expansion. So you write somewhere. Alpha is alpha is nothing but linear coefficient of linear expansion. Coefficient of linear expansion. Alpha is nothing but this alpha you write this is alpha is nothing but coefficient of linear expansion. So once this is the proportional change in length proportional to temperature difference and length. See temperature vary and length. Now what we got here change in length. So now we will write the strain formula. See this one formula is coming here strain formula. What is the strain formula here? Change in length to the original length. Change in length to the original length. So what is change in length here? Alpha delta t into L. What is this length? L. So now look here. L, L get cancelled. What is the strain formula coming now here? Strain formula is coming. Linear expansion, coefficient of linear expansion into change, into change in the temperature. So this is the formula for the strain. So if you thermal stresses problem, if they will ask find the strain, that is nothing but alpha into delta t. How the alpha into delta t coming? You see this concept. So alpha is coefficient of linear expansion. Now stress. Stress develop, no? Stress develop. So what is the stress? That strain, you can say this is called thermal strain. Because you know, Due to the changing the temperature, expansion and contraction is coming. That's why this is known as thermal. This is known as thermal stress and strain. So this is the thermal strain. Now here also write thermal stresses. Thermal stress. This is now you can write the thermal stresses. Thermal stresses. What is the formula for the thermal stresses? Suppose E is equal to what is? Young modulus equal to e stress by e strain. So e stress equal to what is? E stress equal to E. Young modulus into e strain. Young modulus into e strain. So young modulus is equal to e stress by e strain. This is very common formula. Very first beginning class we discuss all those things. So alpha is coefficient of linear expansion. I am going to rub it this part. Coefficient of linear expansion. Now this is the strain formula. Now what is E, e copies uh, Young modulus and e strain is nothing but alpha delta T. So what formula came here? Thermal strain and thermal stresses formula you know now. Thermal stress and thermal strain formula you know now. This is the formula. Once we will solve the questions we will use. Now other things what is what is yielding? Yielding conditions now what will happen you see here. I will little, I will give one more example here and that formula also will write, see here. Suppose case of yielding, yielding. Now look here, same block will be there, but we will stop this also, but we will stop in some distance. Up some, here see, stopping now, direct end we are give fixing, but here some gap will be there. So now, if we we'll increase the temperature, what will happen? They will elongate. They will elongate up to May. May they elongate beyond this. May they elongate beyond this. So, but what they will do? They will not allow to elongate beyond this. But if the, if you will hit, they, they want to go, they want to elongate up to there, but due to this, they will elongate up to this. What is the thickness? This one, this thickness will be delta. 
Suppose they will allow up to delta. So in this case, in this case, if you are writing the thermal strain and thermal stresses, what will the formula say here? Delta L, what we can write here? This delta L is equal to what we got before? Alpha delta T into L. This minus delta you give. This is the elongation of in like these cases. If yielding will be there, there is stopping not the exact point. Some distance, after some times they will stop. Okay, so this is the what is change in length. Suppose you write now is strain. What we will write is a delta L by L. So what is delta L here? Alpha delta T. This is what is delta T. I wrote the very well now. Delta T. Correct. Delta T. Yes. Delta T L minus delta by L. What is this one? Is strain in that case. This case. Then what is stress? That is called thermal strain. Thermal strain. Thermal stresses. What is this one? Strain. E into strain. E into strain. What is strain here? Alpha delta T L minus delta by L. This is the formula for in that case. Suppose yielding will be there and we are stopping this body but is stopping after some distance. After some distance. How much distance? Delta distance. So the delta you subtract. So this is the formula. See formula number one. Formula number one. Formula number two. Formula number three. Then is stress and is strain. That is four. This is five. This is the elongation. If you know this concept, this way you can remember the formula. So thermal stresses looks very complicated. But if you understand this way, how I reach this formula, you can solve any type of problem. So next video, what we'll do? We'll solve those two, three questions. And we'll use the directly. They, if they're asking, find the thermal strain, we'll write alpha into delta T. If they'll ask thermal stresses, this. If yielding case, if they'll ask in this case. So we'll write formula only what is in the elongations we'll substitute we'll <coughs> subtract the this distance delta okay so okay students watch this derivations twice and thrice try to understand the formula how to got the formula then only problem you can solve and thermal stresses sure questions will be there lot of competitive exam gate exam university exam everywhere these questions they are asking so be careful and I study this twice and thrice, okay? Okay, students, welcome. Thank you.